In the previous chapter, we promised to carry out for the first time in this channel the unboxing of a new piece that arrived from the store directly into my hands. Hello, this is Santiago Solano on behalf of the Fountain Pen Corner. Today, I am pleased to present to you a phenomenal fountain pen from one of the most representative brands in the world. Coming up next. For several years, Mont Blanc has been inspired by the cultural history of human race, bringing to the market a group of articles in tribute to eminent personalities who have left their mark on our planet. This is how we find instruments that evoke Mahatma Gandhi, Leonardo da Vinci, Albert Einstein, Andy Warhol, among others. In this video, we will review the Mont Blanc great characters in tribute to Walt Disney, special edition launched in 2019. It should be noted that in this same year, a Walt Disney limited series was also released on the market, different from the special edition with different characteristics and that will not be described in this video. The special edition of great characters in tribute to Walt Disney comes to my hands directly from the Mont Blanc store in a colorful yellow square cardboard box. On its front face, the clear detail of the brand and its corresponding logo is presented with the complete description of the edition's fountain pen. In the same way, we find the character's signature in bold and multiple images in black and white referring to Mickey Mouse, the artist's icon and which, as we will see throughout this chapter, decorates the entire fountain pen. On the upper lid of this cardboard box, we find the Disney logo, the year of the special edition, the serial number of the piece, and the Mont Blanc responsibility seal with the environment at the time of product packaging. On one of the side covers, we find several stickers in which the barcodes and QR codes of the piece are recognized, as well as the full identification of the pen, the country of origin, the type of writing instrument, and the thickness of the nib. Inside, we find a paperback book whose cover and back cover exhibits the same pictorial characteristics of the box previously described. Its pages explained all the details of the fountain pen in nine languages, including in order English, German, French, Italian, Spanish, Portuguese, Chinese, Japanese, and Russian. In addition, it presents not only detailed images of the pen, but also photographs alluding to the virtuous genius in his first sketches and, of course, artistic representations of Mickey Mouse. Finally, the end of the book shows instructions for the use, cleaning and recharging of these writing instruments. In the same way, the possibility of exchanging nibs is offered within a wide range of widths that go from extra fine to double B. There is also the possibility of personalizing the phantom pen with the initials of the owner and on the last page we find the product's guarantee. Accompanying this book is a beautiful deluxe black box. The material is difficult to establish. To the touch, it simulates to be leather, but in the corner a possible plastic origin is suggested. It is black with yellow ribbons in its edges. Its lead reveals the Mont Blanc logo and a star-shaped figure in red and silver. After a long search on the internet, I was unable to establish the meaning of this figure. 
If anyone knows it, please share the information with me in the comments. When you open the box, you will find a delicate and padded cream color material that simulates velvet and reveals the brand's logo in carving. Its base contains on one side a cradle that houses the fountain pen. This support might be turned, revealing two indentations that could house two instruments, meaning a fountain pen, a ball pen, or a roller ball from the same Walt Disney Special Edition series. Entering fully into the fountain pen, we find a beautiful piece with multiple details alluding to the artistic career of Walter Elias Disney and Mickey Mouse. The body and cape are made of made black resin with a ribbed finish designed in such a way that its brilliant conformation manages to create multiple symbols of Mickey Mouse's head. It is really amazing to discover how the precise distribution of these channels gives the optical illusion of the head of a rodent friend. In its middle portion, a three-dimensional image of Mickey protrudes, showing his face through a circular opening. This is a photograph in which we observe in depth the precise details of his face. We see the eyes, nose, forehead and ears, as well as the paws at the edge of the circular opening. The distal end of the barrel ends with an horizontal ribbed metal ring, which contrasts beautifully with the vertical ribbed pattern of the body's resin. It continues with a smaller red resin ring that recalls the colors of the Mickey Mouse clothing in his first movie. It finally ends in a metallic button responsible for the piston mechanism, which has two horizontal channels. The most proximal channel encloses a geographical location in latitude and longitude. This geolocation allows us to trace the coordinates where the garage of the uncle of the brothers Walter and Roy Disney existed. Here, they designed the first camera prototypes for their animated films. The distal channel encloses the words Mont Blanc on one side and the Disney logo on the other. The proximal end of the barrel offers us a shiny metallic ring that decreases in diameter until it ends in a yellow plastic ring, which, like the red one at the other end, recalls the colors of Mickey Mouse's clothing in his first film. It limits with the screw closure mechanism, guaranteeing a field hermetic closure of the instrument. The grip segment is also metallic, showing fingerprints the instant it is touched. It is very important to take this feature into account, since there are people who are bothered by the presence of fingerprints on their instruments. Its metallic structure is very comfortable, but it favors the fingers to slide towards the writing unit. Fortunately, Mont Blanc thought of all these details and introduced a metal ring that acts as a stopper, avoiding ink stains on the hands. The writing unit is composed of a feeder similar to those of the Classic 146 series, made up of multiple channels and a stunning 14K white gold M nib engraved with the metal alloy surrounding the word stud. After doing an intensive search about the meaning of this word, I found several sources that claim that this acronym corresponds to the name of the specific manufacturer of these nibs for Mont Blanc. The brand does not provide any information regarding this acronym on its website. The nib also reveals the name of the brand, the year the piece was launched, and the number 4810, which represents the height in meters of Monte Bianco, a mountain in the Alps that limits Italy with France. Finally, there is an engraving made of a drawing of Mickey's face made by hand by Walt Disney himself. 
the launch of this phantom pen on the market in 2019 was accompanied by a ball pen, a roller ball, special yellow Technicolor ink, and a blue plastic lined notebook with the star of Disneyland, the figure of Mickey, and Walt Disney's signature. The cap is also a plethora of details alluding to the great American artist. It begins with a shiny metallic ring whose characteristic horizontal grooves contrast with the vertical grooves in the resin just as described on the barrel. With the instrument closed, the vision between the brilliant ring of the barrel and the cap is superb. The clip offers very high security when slipping the instrument into a pocket. The origin of this clip beautifully symbolizes the steamboat chimney cap from the first Mickey Mouse movie. The cap ends with a ribbed mate metal ring of the same appearance, but larger than the one described on the barrel and gives rise to the majestic dome-shaped metal end that symbolizes the Epcot Center monorail at the Disney theme park in Florida. This dome also has groove details that, like the resin, are arranged in such a way that they form the symbol of Mickey's face. In the upper part, it offers the artist's signature engraved. It ends with a characteristic Mont Blanc emblem of a small size, which contrasts with the very large ones that the German brand has accustomed us to on its special and limited edition pieces. There have been many criticisms regarding the small size of this emblem, but in my opinion, this feature gives the instrument an elegant touch. The bulky emblems that Mont Blanc usually couples on these limited and special edition pieces can be a little bit too much and somewhat pollute the visual beauty of these fountain pens. In my opinion, it is not necessary to overemphasize an already striking brand like the one we are dealing with today. I consider, with full respect for all tastes, that what is really important is not how over-impressive to the eye the brand of a fountain pen may be, but the satisfaction that it offers its owner when carrying it and when writing. In these two examples, I try to explain my point of view. These two pieces of cloth are from the same brand. The one on the right has the brand embroidered with an excessive size, in my opinion, which can overshadow the visual balance of the product. On the other hand, these two car front blinds are from the same brand series. The one on the left is visually striking due to the size and can, like the previous example, alter the harmonious visual balance of the product. But of course, in my country, we used to say that between likes, there are no dislikes, meaning that between tastes, there is no room for dispute. Let me know in the comments your opinions regarding this topic. The writing experience with the Mont Blanc great characters in tribute to Walt Disney becomes one of the best so far reviewed in this channel. I expected nothing less from this instrument, but to be honest, I am pleasantly impressed with its performance. It is a heavy pen, but like all great characters edition pieces, it has an exceptional balance when writing. There is no doubt about the deep stamp of quality with which it was planned and developed. The instrument cannot be posted since doing so interferes with the button responsible for the piston mechanism. The pen provides a generous line stroke as soon as it touches the paper and has not failed so far. Its smoothness is notorious, a characteristic common to all Mont Blanc nibs. It offers a little feedback, not uncomfortable at all, 
that makes a pleasant sound that transports the user to Walt Disney Personal Studio drawing great sketches. The flexibility it provides is low and therefore the variation of the stroke is limited. Reverse writing is thin and offers high feedback, which is a bit uncomfortable for my taste. However, no stroke was missing in the present writing exercise. As a conclusion, it is a fountain pen full of details of the creative genius behind icons like Disneyland in America, Europe, and Asia, and of course, of characters that pleasantly accompanied us during our childhood. Like all members of this series, the fountain pen instantly attracts your soul, not only with its appearance, but also with its reliable performance. The sharpness of its design and the fine workmanship characteristic of Mont Blanc make this specimen one of the most stylish pieces I have had the opportunity to review. And this is how we end this video full of beautiful details regarding a stunning master writing piece. Special thanks to the Mont Blanc store for their generous help in providing this pen for review. I look forward to your comments and questions on the subject. Please consider subscribing, sharing, and liking this chapter. Until our next video, this was Santiago Solano for the Fountain Pen Corner. See you soon.